Hey, 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 a pleasure and good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a Boston Bruins season preview as we take a look at the Bruins season coming off of a good season last year where they were 33, 16, and 7. If I could see and read better, 73 point for the Bruins last year, who of course have Nick Felino, Noshek, and Hala now, as well as Derek. Forbert, and as well as Linus, Ulmark in net, and then added Troy Grosnick as an extra goalie who's been a great career, AHL goalie, one of the best down there, and has done something in short succession when he's had to come up. Obviously, the big bugaboo, the big thing on Bruins fans' minds and just on hockey fans' minds is the fact that Tuka Rass, the guy that you envision in net for the Bruins all the time, won't be there for the first half at least because of his injuries, and of course isn't even a fully signed back and all that chutzpah yet either, but that will probably come to its own fruition once things go back and once he's able to be healthy, and I wouldn't be surprised like everybody else if he obviously does play at a certain point this season. But when it comes to the Bruins, they're a team that a couple projections have you guys at fourth, or even one I saw, I can't remember what website it was, had you at fifth in the Atlantic, and this is a team I mean, I could see it. It's like people have been saying with Pittsburgh, they did a thing on Sportsnet the other day. It was on the Taiwan Hockey YouTube channel and all that. But they did a thing that was about um, how uh, these Eastern Conference teams, and it mentioned the Capitals, the Penguins, the Bruins, kind of on their last, like, basically leg. Like, do they have to kind of win now? And if in terms of, like, if you want to win now, yeah, you are in a kind of win in the next year or two situation because you have the Martians and Bergerons of the world that aren't getting any younger. But in terms of still being able to win for this season, it's like the same thing with Pittsburgh. Until I see this team not make the playoffs with that leadership group they have, with the way they play, with the culture they have there, I'm not going to predict them out of it because, hell, they could have another guy come up. Yes, Jake DeBrusque hasn't been as good since he first burst onto the scene, but if somebody comes up like Jack Stanika this year and does really well like DeBrusque did in that one season, that would be huge. Um, if, say... Um, Betcher comes up and does well, um, something like that, or Jeremy Swayman might be the guy that you end up having to ride a net even over Linus Allmark, even though he was good in Buffalo just because of his injury history, not because of his play history. When he's healthy, he's typically a pretty freaking good goaltender, but he might be injured, so you might have to ride Sway to get into the playoffs, but he showed that he's a capable goaltender last year, so I wouldn't be any worried about that whatsoever if I'm a Boston Bruins fan. And I think this team obviously also, like I said, brought in a veteran in Troy Grosnick who had a 9-2-2 in two games last year. So like I said, does fine in small sample sizes. Callum Booth has some potential. So you have some net minders as well. If you have injury, but I think obviously you want to have the best chance to succeed and not be projected out like people have you, is having Linus Allmark and having Jeremy Swayman healthy the whole season just by some chance Tuka Rask obviously decide to stay with his family, do stuff and not really come back to playing or what have you. We never know, honestly, until everything's official and everything obviously happens with that as time goes on. But I think you still got a good net net um, presence when it comes to your net minders. Jeremy Swayman's a good budding goaltender, and Linus Allmark, again, is a very good goaltender when healthy. And also, when you have a defensive scheme more like the uh, Bruins, obviously you guys don't have the same peachy keen defense you once had in your winning days in Boston, but you play a little bit more of a concise scheme than the Buffalo Sabres, obviously a way more concise scheme than the Sabres, that's going to help. You have Derek Forbert you brought in, who's one of the better shot-blocking defensemen. McAvoy, after his great, um, obviously, extension now, is going to be playing there for many years, and he deserves that there to 2030 now. You have Carlo for a while. you got Mike Riley, who honestly is a little underrated when it comes to defense. Matt Grizzlick, who's a very good defenseman. And then Connor Clifton, who actually played really, really well in the 44 games last year when he played. So you have guys, you have options, you got Jacobs of Boral still, and you got John Moore still as well. So I think you're because of that defense, that's going to lead to Linus Olmark having a much better chance to stay healthy. I'm never going to project that because that's just a jinx. You still got Chris Wagner, who's a hardworking forward in the minors as well. So you have good depth still a little bit on this team. If something's happening, not as deep depth as you would expect a Bruins team to have like back in the day, but 
it's still depth and it's still good to have. You have Charlie Coyle, who you would expect to get a little bit more out of this year. But the big thing is, the big thing on how successful the Bruins are obviously going to be is, you have them to 2025 now, you already know what you're going to get from Pasta, Bergeron, and Marshawn each night. Taylor Hall did good when he came over. you got to get a very good season still from Taylor Hall, and that's going to be what keeps you in the playoffs, keeps you going for the next couple years as the other veterans are getting older and not getting any younger like the Marshans of the world and the Bergeron of the world, but are still are some of the best players in the league regardless. But yes, you do have to win these next couple years if you want to strike and make a deep run again or a cup run. That's not going to be able to happen years down the line because these prospects you have are going to be guys that fit in, but you don't have anybody that strikes as that Elias Pettersson. That's why you're going to need somebody to be DeBrusque and come in in a year or two and just kind of have that great first season to strike you over the top in order to draw into that. And right now, there's guys you could project for that, like maybe Fabian Lazelle does become somebody like that, but we don't know until we see that. So I hope you all enjoyed this Boston Bruins season preview. Yes, some people are getting down when it comes to sports that TSN on if this is kind of the last hurrah for some of these teams when it comes to the Capitals, Bruins, and Penguins. But again, for me personally, until I don't see them make the playoffs with that culture, with that play style, and with the, the they keep bringing in guys, Nick Felino, great defensive player, can play center too if you want him to and needs to. So you're bringing in these good defensive guys, another guy, no shit, good defensive player, good on the faceoff. So you're bringing in guys that are good to keep your goalies in a good spot and also probably help Linus Olmark, like I said at the beginning, stay healthier and also help Jeremy Swayman to be in the best chance to succeed just in case Tuca doesn't come back, but I hope he does. He's a fun goalie to watch, one of the best to watch and one of the most entertaining. So hopefully he does come back. But this has been a Bruins season preview. I will project you guys right now coming in to not be a bubble team for me because like I said, until I see you guys miss, I'm not going to project a Bruins team out of the postseason. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Subscribe down below and subscribe up the top at the easy-to-use widget if you want to do it up there. And stay safe out there and enjoy the NHL season. And good luck to you this year, Bruins fans. Peace out.